Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. Today in this lecture, I will cover what is revisiting rational numbers and their decimal expansion. So there is one theorem based on this which states that let x be a rational number whose decimal expansion terminates. What this what is the meaning of decimal expansion terminates? Let me say if this is a rational number. There can be some numbers whose uh, like a decimal parts doesn't end. Like I, if I write pi by, by what is the value of this? This is 3, 2, 8, 4, 2. Again this will repeat uh, 4, 2 after that it will come. 1 4 2 8 again this goes on repeating okay and for this we are saying that if a number is like uh, 8 by 5 if I write this and the decimal expansion ends only at here no other number okay so this is the meaning of whose decimal expansion terminates then x can be expressed in the form of p by q where P by P and Q are co prime numbers. I told you what are co prime numbers in my previous lecture also. The numbers having common factor as 1 only. Okay. And the prime factors of Q are in the form of 2 raised to power n into 5 raised to power m. Let me give you one example, but this theorem states that and how the question will come into exam based on this theorem okay so the question is like 13 by 125 is the rational number given to you and you have to express this number as a whose decimal expansion terminates okay without performing actual division you cannot perform actual division like yeah, you will start that this 125 let me take 10 here 125 5 remainder double zero then uh, point then zero then four no no need of this i'll do this by p by q method so what i'll do here i'll write this as 13 into 5 raised to power 3 i have to express the denominator in such a way that it becomes 2 raised to power m into 5 raised to power n so what i need to multiply is if I will multiply 2 raised to power 3 in denominator and 2 raised to power 3 in numerator, what I will get is 13 into 8 upon 10 raised to power 3. 13 into 8 is 104 upon 1000. So what I am getting here is 0 0.104 which I was getting here also 0 0.104. Okay, so students, these type of questions might come in the exam in which you were asked, uh, like you have, uh, you will be asked like solve this number without performing actual multiplication. In a, let me give you some more examples on this. This is a question seven by eighty, and without performing actual division. Uh, express this number as a non-terminating repeating decimal expansion okay what I will do here is I will make the factors of denominator and the factors of denominator are 2 raised to power 4 into 5 and to make uh, the number these numbers same what I will do multiply the numerator and denominator by 5 raised to power 3 so this becomes 7 into 125 will be 875 upon 10 raised to power 4. This will be 0 0.0875. So this is our answer. Without performing actual division, we converted this number into decimal expansion. Okay, these type of questions will be asked to you guys in the exam. Okay, I hope you can solve it very easily now. And if you still have any doubt or any query, students please do comment in the comment section of this video and please subscribe to our 
YouTube channel of Scholars Learning or you can download the app of Scholars Learning from Play Store. Thank you students.